Hello everyone, how are you today? Uh, my name is Savitri. I'm here on behalf of eTraining Private Limited to describe the unit um, BSP LDR 511 Develop and Use Emotional Intelligence. And this is session one. And the topic is identify the impact of on emotions on others in workplace. So I definitely know everyone who is working, whether you have your own business, you work. Have you ever imagined? Um, how your emotions uh, can impact on others um, behavior as well I and mean, your behavior can impact on others behavior so in of this presentation you should be able to uh, know how to identify your own emotional strength and weaknesses identify your personal stressors or I would say the triggers and your own emotional states related to the workplace develop awareness and control of emotional responses model workplace behaviors that demonstrate management of emotions and the last one is use self-reflection and feedback from others to improve development of your own emotional intelligence very important topic i'm really excited to explain about this topic today so what is emotional intelligence uh, this is really crucial everyone should be um, so know this topic um, whether you are the manager or whether you work in any position in the entire um, organization so let's talk about the emotional intelligence okay the ability to monitor one's own and others feelings and emotions to discriminate among them and to use this information to guide one's thinking and actions so this is uh, given by actually Peter Sabal, um, Solovey and John Mayer so these are the scientists that they created oh they are legend actually um, so talking about the immortal you know the emotional intelligence there are certain models of emotional intelligence which is mixed model and then ability model so Goldman has given self-awareness self-regulation motivation empathy social skill and then the four brands has given identification, understanding, uses, and self-regulations. So I'd like to go a little bit, a um, little talk about the emotions. Like emotions are impulses to action in response to life situation. So the degree to which you have mastered your emotions, not to snuff them out or keep them buried, but to acknowledge them and choose how and when to act on them describe your emotions those are the they, those topic are I mean we have already discussed but those are the regular responses that we get throughout our life situation okay and identify emotional strength and impact on the others so to identify your emotional strength you can undertake formal testing yes which is formal testing seek some kind of 360 degree evaluation feedback form as well I mean ask people reflect complete a personal SWOT analysis very good I should um, you should be you should know the word is SWOT so what are your strength weaknesses opportunities and threat those personal reflection I also can say the self-reflection is the main key that you can what are your weaknesses you can work on your weaknesses work and then show your strength use your strength to overcome the fear and the opportunity is already there because you are very good in something and the threat can be also overcome throughout some kind of action um, so now identify personal stressor and control your responses you should know that what is actually triggering you during the day why do you why do you get stress which situation makes you more frustrated more you know emotional or you are not really doing well in your job um, for example you need to for those you need to identify what exactly is happening okay suppose when your boss tells you to do something and you get stressed and boss, when your boss tells you to do uh, okay you haven't finished your tax on time or well, you're very slow and you get stressed it could be different other points okay and you identify them and reduce those stresses means that you know what you are who you are 
no one can identify yourself than anyone else you, you are you are yourself okay um so you need to find out what are the triggers are as well and find your zone means that how can you improve those situation how can you just keep quiet can you control your emotions so the facial expression are you very you know completely it's turning your face into the pale or blue or even it's red um if someone is telling something to you you're not really happy you need to find out those um, situation and control your responses means you cannot change the outside world okay but you can change yourself okay you can change yourself to change the world you have to change yourself okay it means that if you want to attract something you have to become the same you have to become the one you want to attract so same thing if you are always angry always stressing and people rarely will like you okay if you always happy you everyone has their stress but you know how to control those situation because you can't do nothing about it why have to stress it okay it's quite easy go with the flow be smart okay so model emotional intelligence so how do i demonstrate self awareness how do i show that i am in control of myself how do i act to inspire people how do i know that i care about people how do i deploy social skills to build networks and win agreement for my proposals very important information for me is the best information okay so i like to i have i have read this information thousand times and i still love it because i'm really excited to see it because this is something you should know if you control your emotions you can control everything okay um so the first one i will just describe it how do i demonstrate self awareness yes so how do you demonstrate that um you are really aware of the fact that what's happening around you you care about the people okay um so if someone is not really happy you can see from their gesture from their emotions from their eyes con eye contact but you should, you are in the position that you should really really know that what the people are thinking you should read someone else someone else mind with those facial expressions okay that's the self awareness okay and how do i so that i'm in control of myself means someone is talking to you and you're not listening to or you don't know what you are thinking or talking to i mean listening self control of control of myself means you are very active listener and you know what you're doing okay there is attention to detail as well that's how you're controlling yourself you're controlling your brain okay how do i act to inspire people so like talk positive always put people at first compliment them thank them that's how you inspire people so always you're complaining you are the people who is always complaining and you always um always um down and always sad and always talking about bad things so who will like you so to be a peep to become a person to inspire someone else you have to become the good person always positive always happy always smile even the situ situation is bad doesn't really matter yes but you always telling people these are things which happens okay but you need to keep going you need to keep trying keep doing things what you have to do which is giving 100% of yourself whatever you are doing okay so how do i know or so <laughs> that i care about people so as i told you already so you need to tell people that things happens okay so it's okay you tell them how are you today are you okay are you okay are you are you too busy or do you need my help give hands to people okay if you are free doing nothing be, become a help and the coordination cooperation that's how um you're showing people that you care care about people around who you work with okay 
you're not you know, you're the manager sitting in the chair and do this and do that and you're not you're ordering people to do things but you're not doing yourself are you a good manager of course not so if you want to be a good manager you what you need to do you need to go talk to the people you so that you care for them if there is someone is calling sick say it's okay i wish you get well soon and i will see you next day or the following day okay that means you care that they are sick um the last one is how do i deploy social skills to build net networks and win agreement for my proposals um in this topic i can say you always need to be the person who is really comfortable talking with the mass talking with the mass conducting the meeting and the even there is a new group of people there you're very comfortable to talk with and there is no hesitation and always win agreement for my problem and you will always be if you are very positive always very approachable i think people will come to you and say always say yes to you whatever you do okay um develop emotional intelligence very important topic so identify your skills gaps and development needs identify training and self development options uh, develop personal development planning yes so what i am talking about is this is the personal development planning so if you are trying to manage your stress uh, what happens eventually you will be really really good okay you will be amazing person you will be amazing person okay um so identifying training so you need to see that which part of the training um do you require do you need to really you need to do self development you need to develop yourself how do you dress up how do you talk to the people how do you look how do you make your face when you're talking with the people okay um yeah that's end of the slide actually that was um, really quick and i hope you got some value out of this presentation and i will see you in the next um presentation okay thank you